Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Vanshika Tyagi and today we will be discussing about a very important aspect of dental anatomy that is the tooth numbering system. We will be discussing about the introductory part and three systems of tooth numbering that is the Palmer, the Universal and the FTI system of tooth numbering. Okay, so we will start with the dental formula. The number of teeth present in the half of the upper jaw and the half of the lower jaw is called as the dental formula. The denomination of each tooth is often represented by the initial letter in its name. For example, I stands for the incisors, C for canines, P for premolars and M for molars. Each letter is followed by a horizontal line. The number of each type of tooth is placed above the line for maxilla and below the line for mandible. So, the dental formula for primary or deciduous teeth should be read as incisors, two maxillary, two mandibular, canine, one maxillary, one mandibular, and molars, two maxillary, and two mandibular. There will be no premolar in the deciduous teeth. Now, the dental formula for the permanent teeth can be read as incisors, two maxillary, two mandibular, canine, one maxillary, one mandibular, premolar, two maxillary, two mandibular, and molars, three maxillary, and three mandibular. Now, coming to the tooth numbering system. Why do we actually need it? That is, for recording data in shorthand notations. So, there is a committee of American Dental Association. In 1947, it recommended the Zygmondi or the Palmer tooth numbering system as the numbering system of choice, which was then replaced in 1968 by the universal tooth numbering system. Alright, so starting with the Palmer system of tooth numbering. As we just read that ADA recommended the system as the numbering method of choice in 1947. The Austrian dentist Adolf Zygmondi developed this idea in 1861. It is one of the oldest and most widely used system for dental notation. Now for any numbering system, the arches are divided into four quadrants. The upper, the lower, the right and the left quadrants. Decidus dentition will be using the alphabets A to E, starting right from the midline towards the posterior teeth. For mandible, we'll be using the numbers 1 to 8 starting from the midline towards the posterior teeth. So for example, how will we be denoting the primary maxillary right central incisor? Okay, so primary maxillary right central incisor so we'll be writing it as this now for primary mandibular left second molar the so primary mandibular left second molar this will be the one we'll be writing it as e with this mark we'll be specifying the quadrant by this mark above or below the letters now likewise for permanent maxillary left lateral incisors permanent maxillary left lateral incisor we'll be writing it as two permanent mandibular right third molar so permanent mandibular right third molar this will be the one and we'll be writing it as eight coming to the advantages and disadvantages of the palmer system of tooth numbering this system is very simple to use and easy for beginners. Disadvantages, no differentiation between the four quadrants. Like if we're saying the tooth number one, we don't know if it's maxillary, hai, mandibular, hai, right or left. Hai. Not compatible for computers, like the symbols that we are using to show the quadrants, those are not compatible for the computers. Repetition of same numbers. Difficult for verbal transmission. Coming to the universal system of tooth numbering. 
This is the official tooth numbering system in the United States of America. It includes a sequence of numbers 1 to 32 for permanent teeth and alphabetic system A to T for deciduous teeth, moving clockwise around the dentition. So for permanent teeth, we will be starting from upper right till the lower right. And likewise for the primary teeth. Notice that there is no repetition of numbers or alphabets here in the universal system of tooth numbering. Primary, maxillary, left, second molar. So primary, maxillary, left, second molar. We'll be writing it as J. Coming to permanent mandibular right, first premolar. So the permanent mandibular right, first premolar. We'll be writing it as 2. Eight. We'll call it 2-8 rather than 28. Coming to the advantages of universal system of tooth numbering, separate numbers and alphabets given to each tooth. Jo hamara palmer ka disadvantage that that has been covered in the universal system of tooth numbering. Also, it is very easy to visualize. Coming to the disadvantages, it is difficult to recall and confusing when compared to palmer system. Now let's discuss the last set of tooth numbering system. It is a two-digit system given by Federation Dentaire International, which is also known as FDI, adopted by WHO and International Association for Dental Research Worldwide. In this system, first of all, we are using numbers for primary as well as the permanent dentition. We are not using any alphabet here. So, it is a two-digit system, right? The first digit, it represents the quadrants. Like 1 for permanent maxillary right, 2 for permanent maxillary left, 3 for permanent mandibular left, 4 for permanent mandibular right, 5 for Deciduous maxillary right, 6 for deciduous maxillary left, 7 for deciduous mandibular left and 8 for deciduous mandibular right. The second digit represents the tooth number from the midline. Okay, so for example, if we say primary maxillary right central incisor. So the primary maxillary right Central incisor. We'll be writing it as 5, 1. Let's take another example. Permanent mandibular left central incisor. So the permanent mandibular left central incisor. We'll be writing it as 3, 1. Coming to the advantages. It is simple and easy to remember. Easily differentiates left and right upper and lower arches and the tooth type. Simple to teach and easy to understand. Easy to translate into computer input. Now coming to the disadvantages, it is difficult to memorize. That's the only disadvantage of FDI system of tooth numbering. All right, so here we come to the end of the lecture. If you have any doubts or any queries related to the topic, you can comment down below and I'll be surely replying to that. Thank you.